Hey, what's going on, everybody? It is your boy, Brandon, and we have a great shoot for you guys today. So I finally was able to get my hands on the new Canon EOS R mirrorless system. And boy, let me tell you, I had an amazing time shooting this video. So a few things. Um, I want to give a big shout out to my model that we use today. Her name is Jasmine. She's never modeled with me before. So I appreciate her for coming down and spending her time with us so we can shoot another project. Um, I also want to thank my production team. Also, always, I can't do anything without these guys. Well, I can, but they just make my job so much easier and kind of keep me on my toes. So, shooting with the new EOS R was, it's almost like riding a bike because it's like a 5D Mark IV mirrorless system. It's pretty much the same thing, 30 megapixel camera. But there are a few things that really, really, really sticks out between the EOS R and the Sony a7 III that I'm going to cover at the end of this video. So, without further ado, Thank you guys for checking out another world premiere and let's get to the video. All right, here we go. All right, and three, two, one. Hey, what's up everybody? It's your boy Brandon and I'm here with the beautiful Jasmine. She is kind of soft, so you're probably not gonna talk to her. We're gonna make her talk at the end, but anyway. Um, today we are shooting on a rooftop and as you guys know, I am using the new Canon EOS R mirrorless camera from Canon. Uh, we are not using Sony today, but I wanted to get my perspective and I wanted to give my um, thoughts on using the new Canon mirrorless system from a Sony Now shooter perspective. As you guys know, I shot Canon for like four years, so it's going to be pretty interesting to use this. We're going to be using it with flash. Uh, we're going to be using the Explorer 600 Pro with the 48 inch Glow Easy Lock today. So, hope you guys enjoyed the video. Remember to comment, like, subscribe, and go visit Jasmine because she's doing some amazing stuff. We're going to put our information out there today. But let's kind of see what kind of shots we get with the new Canon EOS R. We are using the 85mm 1.8 and we have an adapter on it. So, let's see how it works. All right. I like Right now, since we're outside, I am shooting at 1 8,000th of a second. I'm shooting wide open at 1.8. All right, so I already set up my flash trigger, my Canon flash trigger. So we're gonna take a shot and see what it looks like, all right? All right, three, two, one. Let me test one more test, here we go. Beautiful. I'll oh, shoot Jasmine, girl. Don't be coming up here starting no mess. Three, two, one. Beautiful. Now see, it's so hard because I don't have eye out of focus. So I'm using like the, I'm using the, I'm going back to using the focusing points and moving them around and putting them on people's eyes and everything. So, man, I'm telling you, you really miss that when you're a Sony, when you're a Sony shooter, bro. I'm telling you. All right, so let's see where our blue skies is at. So let's go ahead and shoot straight right there first. Um, yeah, no, no, you don't gotta move. I got you, I got you. The one thing about shooting on a rooftop with buildings, when you have a model, you don't want a lot of things sticking up out the back of the head, you know, so I got to watch the buildings that I shoot and how it's, how it's going to be behind her because I don't want big old like towers and stuff coming up out the head because it'll take away from Jasmine and I'm sure she don't want buildings out the back of her head either. So just something to, to recognize, but it's okay to have buildings in the background. It looks good. You just don't want big Eiffel towers like coming up out the back and you have to do a bunch of Photoshop crap. Man, these colors are really popping, and those are just test shots. God, dog it. All right, 
So we about to get started. Y'all ready? Let's get popping. Right up here in the thing. Give me that little hip out there just a little bit more. If you can't, take your right foot and cross it over a little bit. I'm splitting the pole and I'm splitting the building right here to get her in focus. I'm gonna get a full body shot. Stay right there. The 85 with an adapter. Whichever ones look good. I don't know. Stop. Anyone stylish? Then you gotta stop it. I'm about to eat chicken. We might be professionals, but we get hungry too, so I hope y'all understand. I'm not like everybody. Man, get the camera out of my face. This shit. Put <laughs> it in my mouth. <laughs> good. That's dope. I like it. You can't have chicken. You can't have chicken without great pop so i don't care what y'all say on youtube i'm me so come this way a little bit right there stop all right so let me get a quick tap because now you don't have the sun in your face so three two one oh so dope pull your hair like you just had it and put the other hand down yeah let's see bring your hand down i mean i'm sorry keep that one up keep that one down bring your chin down Right there, stop. Okay, you guys don't move. That elbow, bring it into your chest more. Yep, perfect. Yes, girl, you better what? Three, two, one. I don't know if you can see that. Can yeah, you see I can that? See it. I can see it. Yo, the colors in this thing is outrageous. But you know, they've, Canon has always, and this is my opinion, Canon has always had a better color science than than Sony, but it, that's just crazy. All right, let's do some more shooting right now. We got some glasses, so I want you to use those glasses now. Beautiful, right there. Stop, come this way. Right there, stop. Cross back over. Right there, beautiful. Bring them down a little bit. Off your face, off your face. No, bring them off, like actually brag them, yeah. Actually grab, yeah, there you go, beautiful. Yep, all right, taking two shots, here we go. Three, two, one. Lovely, lovely, lovely. All right, let's do a closer one. All right, so your fingers, I like it. They gotta bring, come in though. Yep, perfect. Not, not too much, right there, that's good. All right, bring the glasses down so I can see your eyes. Bring them down some more. Stop, three, two, one. Up, oh, got it that time. Up, oh, we got it that time. Beautiful, all right, let's do, let's do another pose. All right. So, actually, I'm sorry. You're gonna have to switch it. Do it this way. Do it this way towards the light. So put the right, uh, put the left hand up. There you go. There you go. Perfect. All right. Here we go. Three, two, one. That was dope. All right, so I want to move this way just a tad. And actually, I tell you what, let's go over there. If all y'all don't know, the trick to holding down your seat stand is a 25 pound kettlebell. What happens is if you put it down here, and normally I try to figure out which way the wind is coming, but. The long leg normally always goes to the back. So you take your kettlebell. Damn, no sandbags. It ain't gonna go nowhere. Put it on there how you want to, I don't care. But it works. change this real quick 16 see what happens is when you shoot outside you have to know how to shoot because the ambient is changing remember it was really bright out here a minute ago and now the Sun just dipped on us so as a photographer you have to recognize that and then you have to change the settings all right so I'm pretty much almost redone so I'm just gonna boost the power and we should be good so I was shooting at 1 8,000 
I went down to one five thousand to let in a little bit more light and I'm just readjusting my flash power and we're good. Here we go. Good. I like it. Three, two, one. Good. Bring that, turn it around. Yeah, bring it back to you like you was, like you just had it up a minute ago. Let's do one looking down. You don't got to put your eyes this time. Right there, stop. Yeah, I'm going to do one looking down. You know, eyes don't always have to be in the light. You can get a different perspective with them doing that. Three, two, one. Stay right there. I'm going to back up. Yep, I'm going to back up. Stay right there. All right. See if I can get a full body. Awesome. That's incredible. We got these. All right, you ready to change? Sweet. All right, so Jasmine is changing. So basically, this camera... I hate to say it, but this camera is a beast, it's a beast. The color science is just amazing. And like even the shutter and the way it takes the pictures and the, the viewfinder, man, is so is so colorful and vibrant. It's, it's insane. So like I really don't have really too many things about it right now. It's just that the buttons are everywhere. Um, but if I go into the menu system, I can set it up because like I said, I had the 5D Mark IV and it's the menu system is exactly the same as the 5D Mark IV. So that's basically all this is. It's a mirrorless 5D Mark IV. Um, but right now, even with the adapter, with the 85 millimeter 1.8, it's, it's quick. Like, it's insane. So uh, we're going to do this last set. And um, I hope you guys enjoyed the picture so far. But this thing is, this thing is crazy. I love it. Oh, you can you can turn your wheel some more? Mm -hmm. Yeah, I can. Yeah, turn it some more, cause I'm gonna have her. You said good. Okay, good. I'm gonna have her put her um put her shoe up on the wheel. All right, three, two, one. All right, stay right there. Let's see what we got. We got a perfect shot. <laughs> That's crazy. We got a perfect shot. All right, one more. Okay. Yep, right there. Three, two, one. Probably should have used a 23. Wow! <laughs> ah! All right, let's see here. Yeah, well, uh, let me see. One, um, Good, now put that right, put your right foot, yeah, there you go, there you go, perfect. So, what I want you to do, I see the pose already. <coughs> do it again, no, sit down, do it again. What I want you to do, I want you to take this leg and I want you to throw it this way. Yep, that way, perfect. But I want you to keep your feet, yeah, I was about to say. There you go, yeah, 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 yeah. I'm gonna have to come this way, you don't move, you don't move. Because I got this wind blowing, all right. Boom, oh, look at this perspective, here we go. Three, two, one. Okay, much better. Stay right there. All right, give me, like it, I like it. Three, two, one. I'm gonna come closer, hold on. Um, I want you, so like this, like look at me right here. I want you to come like this. I want you to step out just like you were, and I want you to look back just like here. Okay. All right. Keep that arch. I want you to keep the arch in your back. All right. And we're going to shoot from over in this direction. All right. Here we go. Three, two, one. Stay right there. Give me um, some more of your, face, um, your eyes. Turn your, right there. Stop. Right here in the camera. Three, two, one. All right, one more. Beautiful. We are done ski. For what? Why? You can't wear a bikini. Well, you, can't, you can't wear a bikini? Damn it. 
Hey, what's up, everybody? Thank you guys for checking out Jasmine's video. She did an amazing job. Um, I'm trying to give her some chicken. I am starving, but I'm gonna make it work anyway. But the EOS R was amazing. Um, as you can see from those shots. What's up? You sure? Where'd you get them from? Um, those are big ass wings. I got it from a gas station. Big ass chicken. Yeah. Okay, I'm sorry. Um, anyway. What was I saying? Plane. What before that? Um, I don't know. Oh, the camera <laughs> did amazing. Um, <laughs> it was absolutely incredible. Like I said, Canon still has probably one of the best color sciences that I've used. I have to actually play around with it some more to, um, to basically figure out everything and how to set it up. But other than that, I mean, you can really use any camera when you know where your ISO, your aperture, your shutter speed and everything is, how to throw it in a high speed sync and then just go off shooting, you know? All the other stuff is just extra stuff. Um, but other than that, it, it worked out great. Am I going back to Canon? Probably not, you know, because the eye autofocus is something that I just missed a lot, but it did a really good job on face detection the way I had it set up. So I want to thank Platinum Photography, my girl Keandra for letting me um, borrow uh, the EOS. I want to thank Miss Jasmine for doing an amazing job. And um, you have Instagram, right? Yes. Okay. So she has an Instagram, so I'm gonna let her put her inf Instagram information out to you guys. And please go follow her, because she is amazing, amazing. So my Instagram is Pacific Barbie. Do I have to spell Pacific Barbie? No, I, I, I'll, put it in the, I'll put it in the comment section below. So it's Pacific Barbie underscore, that's about it. Specific Barbie underscore. Specific, not specific. Oh, spe <laughs> I said specific. She said pacific. Pacific, like you know. I swear, did it ocean. sound like she said specific? Oh. I'll put it in the comment section below. So it's specific Barbie. Specific Barbie. Pacific. Okay, Pacific. Okay. So like the Pacific Ocean. Right, all right, right. So Pacific Barbie underscore. All right. So please go follow her. Um, comment, like, and subscribe, guys. And I hope you guys enjoyed the video. All right. Until next time. Keep shooting. Peace. All right, guys, so I hope you enjoyed the video. We had a great time doing it. Um, I really didn't put too much music and everything with that because I really wanted you guys to hear the behind the scenes and how this shoot was going, some of the things that I was doing, and plus I was hungry as heck. So let's get to some of the biggest differences, guys, that you're going to find between the EOS R and, like, the Sony a7 III or the Sony system. Um, I'm just comparing it right now to the a7 III because, you know, that's kind of what I have. Um, you can compare it to the a7R 3 or anything else you want to do But here's the biggest differences between like the a7 III if you guys have that and the Sony EO, uh, and the Canon EOS R First thing that you're going to notice right off the back is the display the viewfinder the LCD The LCD on the Canon EOS R is so Beautiful It is vibrant. It is bright. The colors on it, like, looking through the, and you guys saw, I was shooting in like one eight thousandth of a second and the sun was dipping in and out. That viewfinder was nice. It's crisp. It's sharp. The colors were very, very nice. I'm going to tell you right now that the, looking through the viewfinder and the LCD is definitely better than the Sony system. If you go look up the specs on a Canon race that LCD and the viewfinder, it's like two million something megapixels in resolution versus the Sony a7 III, which is like 900 and like 20 pixels, 920,000, 920K um, pixels. So you're talking about over a million and something more pixels in resolution than the Sony system. That was one of the biggest things, and it is a really, really nice viewfinder, guys. So that's one of the biggest things that you're gonna notice. The second biggest thing that I really, really noticed was the battery life. Even when I first turned the camera on and I started shooting, the battery started dipping. I mean, it almost felt like I was using my 6500. Now, I have to go to CIPA. They rate the, the taking shots on the Canon EOS R, you get like, it's said that you get like 310 shots. That's how bad the battery life is. The battery life on the Sony was like almost double, like double and a half. Like we're rated at like 710, 720 um, shots on a battery life versus the Canon EOS R. So battery life was a really, really big thing. Now, one of the biggest, now I'm not gonna say that this part is a deal breaker, but IBIS, 
the can Sony system we have, you know, in body stabilization with is absolutely great. The EOS R does not have IBIS. It does not have in-body stabilization. It, ha it doesn't have it. Ha it doesn't have image stabilization. Not in-body. It doesn't have image stabilization. So when asked Canon or asked Canon about that, especially the reps and everything that I talked to, the the Canon glass or lenses that come out for the system have Im image stabilization. So they put the image stabilization on the glass rather put it on the body, and they just didn't feel like it needed image stabilization in the body. So, for you guys that have a Canon system already, like a 5D2, 5D3, 6D, any type of full frame, and you're looking to get an adapter and put it on the EOS R, and it doesn't have in-body stabilization, you better have the hand of God trying to hold that camera for you. You better have some really good control uh, when you try to take those shots because you do not have image, by, uh, image stabilization. A big thing, a big thing to remember. Another big thing is time lapse. The EOS R has time lapse. So for you videographers who are using this for a portrait lens and also want to use it for a really good video lens, you have time lapse to get you another, you know, get you another look, get you another perspective in your video. Sony, we don't have time lapse, sorry. And you can't get it through, you know, play memories and you know, you have to use like an intervalometer or something like that to help you get time lapse on the on the Sony um, a7 III. So, unfortunately, sorry. So, and then one of the last things that um, I noticed was the ergonomics. When you hold the Canon EOS R, it's a little bit bulkier, a little bit taller than the Sony a7 III. I wish I still had it. I would have put it side by side, but unfortunately I had to give it back to Keandra. But it's it feels a little bit heavier. It feels a little bit bulkier. It is taller. It is wider by like a, a centimeter or something like that than the a7 III. Just to let you guys know. It feels really good. Is that a deal breaker? Absolutely not. I still love the ergonomics of the Sony system, especially putting it on like my Sigma glass that has the built-in converter that kind of comes out away from the away from the body and you can still hold it really, really good. But as far as like the weight and everything goes, it feels really, really good. So. Those are some of the biggest things that you need to know between these two systems. The big, I'm sorry, but the biggest problem with me was eye autofocus. I promise when you've been shooting Sony for so long, that face detection and how fast that autofocusing system is and eye autofocus, I still haven't found really anybody that matched that focusing system. Now I know I've heard somebody, some people like Nikon and some people coming out with their own version of eye autofocus here and some updates recently. And you know, as you know, uh, Sony, we're coming out with a big update for like the A7R3, A9, A7 III um, for the, you know, the real time, um, you know, focusing system. So it's going to be really, really interesting to see some of the updates that are coming to not only the Sony system, but also other systems. And also you got to excuse me because I lost my voice, but I'm still doing this video for you guys. So. Um, those are the biggest things, but I had an amazing time shooting with it. It is a really good camera. I'm sorry. The 30 megapixel sensor, Canon did a really, they did a good job. It's still missing a few things. Um, the buttons and the way the setup is with the, the buttons and everything on the top is a little bit confusing. And I found myself hitting the ISO button and it kept changing ISO during the photo shoot. And it was really, really just frustrating. Um, but a lot of those things that we, that they have on there, I mean, we're not going to use anyway. So I really don't understand why they put it on there, but they feel like it needs to be on there, then okay. So, I mean, they didn't ask like us, so whatever. So anyway, um, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Um, a few things is coming up. We got another shoot for you guys next week coming with uh, my model, Treasures. You might have remember her from our previous shoot. She's back, and we're doing type kind of like a pinup type of old school feel look is going to be a, a great feel a great look um and also the critique part two is coming up i hope you guys enjoyed this man comment like and subscribe and i'm going to see you in the next video if you have any questions for me leave them in the comment section below all the gear that i use in this video will be in the comment section below and